where Russia arrested an ISIS member who was allegedly planning to attack India. All right, a mega terror attack against India was foiled by Russia. Russia apprehended an ISIS terrorist who was planning to travel to India. The terrorist was planning an attack against a top BJP leader and was meant to avenge a perceived insult to Prophet Muhammad. Now, he has been identified as Azamov, and according to the Federal Security Service of the Russian Federation, the terrorist was recruited by ISIS as a suicide bomber in Turkey. Now, he even took an oath of allegiance to the ISIS as well. Now, essentially, Russia nabbed this bomber, and he also made some chilling confessions. And what we're going to do is take you through those confessions and what he said. Now, the number one thing that he said is that he was tasked with taking revenge on somebody who allegedly insulted Prophet Muhammad. Now, he also said that I plan to meet an ISIS handler in India, essentially drawing attention to the fact that there is a presence of ISIS, ISIS in India. Now, the next ch chilling confession that he made was essentially that the handler was going to be providing him with weapons and logistics for the attack. So essentially, now the next point is also about how he underwent special training in Turkey this year. So essentially, he was recruited by the ISIS, he underwent training in Turkey, and then he was going to be coming to India, and he was going to be speaking to a handler, an ISIS handler in India. Now the last point is that he was going to be leaving for India from Russia at the command of ISIS. So he was waiting for that final command in order for him to come to India and then where essentially he was going to be meeting a handler, he was going to be getting weapons and he was also going to be given logistical information about, about the attack that he was going to essentially take on somebody in India. Now we will be getting you more information on this but right now those are the chilling confessions that we're bringing you from the ISIS member that Russia has nabbed. Now, essentially, what is also very chilling is that this also points to the presence of ISIS in India. And some big questions that really emerge out of this is, you know, was he really a lone wolf? How many other people were involved in this? Uh, now that he has been nabbed by Russia, is somebody else really going to come in and take his position instead? Because essentially what ha typically happens with terror groups like this is even if one person is nabbed, then they do tend to st send somebody else. So we'll, we will try to get you more information on this. Uh, but for right now, those are the details that we have on this incident. Now, it is very shocking. It is very alarming. Now, but one thing to note is that Russia has nabbed this individual. So that is the current situation. And he has made these confessions, these chilling confessions. Um, remember, he, what, another thing that he said is that he was going to be meeting a handler in India uh, where he was going to be getting essentially weapons and he was also going to be getting details about logistics so i'm also crossing over to our colleague abhishek ja to get us more details on this abhishek so what do we know about whether he was the only person who was slated to carry out this attack or were there other people involved tell us what you know uh, so clearly uh, this is our uh, investigation which is in very uh, primary stage right now uh, so far we know that the person uh, named asmo is about 20 years old relation origin likely he's an Uzbeki uh, he has, in his confession he has accepted that he was trained uh, through uh, he was recruited through social media platform like telegram and signals and he was in touch with the higher uh, officials of uh, ISIS through the through these platforms and he uh, traveled to Turkey from where he got this command that he had to go to Russia and from Russia he was supposed to come to India where again uh, he was uh, uh, apparently had some uh, people working for him uh, because in India, he was supposed to get all the logistical support and uh, apparently thing, uh, apparently all those materials that were required to uh, to conduct that terrorist strike that he was uh, apparently planning for a very long time. Uh, Indian intelligence agencies had some idea because uh, they had some international, uh, through their international peers, they had some input and accordingly, in the last week of July, there happened a meeting of uh, intelligence officials 
uh, from across the country where those uh, inputs from international uh, uh, agencies were shared and accordingly uh, we had seen probably the last few weeks there had been many raids across the country including bihar and other parts of the country where uh, some isis modules were also uncovered so looks like the story is now becoming complete with the arrest of this person asmov in russia uh, because as the agencies were trying to nab more people in india uh, so probably that were uh, those were people who were uh, actually the sleeping cell or the modules that asmo was expected to work with when he would have arrived in india so uh, currently uh, investigative agencies have not been able to tell uh, us who uh, were the names or the names the who, who were the high profile names or individuals uh, the terrorist was uh, after their life and also uh, who all were there because the, this person apparently has isis allegiance but he has not uh, told clearly the names of the people uh, who have been behind this uh, whole uh, plotting of uh, terrorist strike in india absolutely abhishek now i also do have a follow up question for you on this now as per one of his chilling confessions he had essentially said that he was going to be meeting an isis handler within india so what does this really say about the presence of isis in india this is a clearly a uh, worrisome uh, proposition that if a person uh, living in india has been working for isi and he was uh, uh, plotting or planning a major individual strike on a on a ruling elite like uh, somebody from the ruling uh, dispensation uh, so uh, this is the the basic uh, primary information that the agencies have and probably they, they must be working on that information uh, but the name of that person who uh, or the location of those uh, individual who have been working for isi has still not been Uh, clearly told to us uh, we know that indian agencies would be in touch with the uh, uh, russian uh, counterparts and very soon they will also uh, have some access to interrogate or to uh, seek uh, answers from asmo and probably then the scene will be much more clearer as to who all are behind this uh, uh, terrorist strike uh, what was the name of the person who this person was trying to target in india uh, apparently this person has said that he was in in vengeance he was acting in vengeance uh ever since that that uh, controversial remark by bjp spokesperson was made against prophet uh, mohammed uh so uh, while uh, all of us have understood this fact that the issue has died down long back because uh, so much of uh, fire fighting happened at the diplomatic level also indian mm. envoys in various countries in gulf they also try to uh, convince or uh, present india's stance to the respective governments where it was clearly told that the, those remarks were not uh, any reflection of the indian government mm. but they were all they were rather a personal or individual remark and that person has been duly punished by the party also uh, however uh, we all had and had a uh, major issue has down this is still uh, very much simmering and this person who has been arrested in russia was apparently working uh, in vengeance uh, to act on on this terrorist uh, terror strike that he was plotting and some a very high profile individual was probably on his hit list uh, whether it was just one person or he had planned for multiple person uh, we don't know yet uh, he was a suicide bomber so uh, apparently he was trained like that so it would have been a very lethal and disastrous strike had Absolutely. he been successful now abhishek another question that i like wanted to ask you essentially was could you also tell us about what the way forward is in terms of the investigation will india and russia now be joining hands uh highly likely because the uh our security advisor anushka security advisor ajit doval was in russia last week only where he also had a meeting with russian counterpart patrushov and both of them discussed uh, about the various aspect of regional and global security we know that in the wake of terrorist groups uh, sprouting up uh, once again because of the taliban uh, taliban's takeover in kabul this is a common challenge that russia and india both faces uh, 